Hi, I'm Brenna. I'm Nell. Pronouns they, them. Pronouns she, her, or they, them. And this was week three of the Lag and Gush solo series at Wednesday Night Hop in November 2019. Cool. Uh, so uh, we worked on f six moves today. Yes. Um, and uh, we worked on the concept of momentum and uh, moving from our core and just a recap of a lot of the concepts that we worked on over the course of the last month. Yeah, um, so the first move was drags. Yeah, the first move was drags. Drag looked like this. Six, seven, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and, yep. And one more time. Six, seven, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, uh, and so we worked on some ideas about really getting low with our knees, piking forward, really being dynamic with the whole thing, keeping a nice, even halftime uh, pulse. And constantly moving as well. So we wanted to avoid do, 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 which could be a move, but we we're going for the really moving through honey, constant movement um, and slowing down that half circle. Cool. Nice, the next move we worked on was an eagle slide, which looks like this. Five, six, seven, shoot, ba, do, ba, ooh, ba. So we noted that that first kickball change is a little different than kickball changes, say, in a break, uh, because this kickball change is moving. We want to feel like we're being powered forward. So we've got kickball change, step, scooch, step. And for that whole time, we want it to feel constantly moved forward so that when you get to the slide, you're not doop ba doop boo er, right? You want the slide to come naturally from kickball change, step, scooch, step. Yeah, because you're moving so forward, you've got so much momentum that your body just carries you through that slide. Cool. Uh, another move we worked on was the Frankie Do Gaze Afar. Um, and that looks like this. Uh, five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, a seven, eight. One more time. Five, six, seven, and a Kick, one, two, slide, three, four, five, switch, six, a seven. Down. Cool. Uh, so this was like a recap of a lot of the concepts we worked on over the class, moving through honey, uh, lagging the beat on this part, and then catching up a little bit there at the end. Yeah, we especially want to avoid the kick, step, bada, right? It looks a little disjointed as opposed to constantly moving and gushing. Yep, and we focus on this idea of momentum, like we're moving continuously through the whole movement uh, as opposed to letting any of those uh, moments stop us. Yeah, great. Number five, we worked on lock turns, which look like this. This is the, the gushy lock turn we did, which was like lock turn. And then a typical lock turn, which is a little faster, looks like this, lock turn. So we noted that instead of hopping straight forward, hop. We instead want to cheat it a little. We want our lower body to be already turning, even though our upper body is still facing forward. So like this. So you'll notice that my legs are pointed this way, my upper body is this way. That means I have a twist in my body and I can unwind with that. We also noted that bringing our arms in can affect that, that there are a lot of things that like getting higher, getting lower, you can experiment with and see how that affects your momentum on the lock turn. Yep. Uh, and then the last move we did was mambo steps. Um, and so those look like this. Five, six, seven, and a mambo step. Mambo step, mambo step, mambo step. Uh, and so we talked about there's a lot of different ways to do this movement. Uh, the one we focused on was very regal posture with our upper body. Um, and then having our legs and our butt go back and forth underneath us as we're doing the movement. Nice. The sixth one we did was the fishtail. And so that looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a slow, slow, a really slow. <laughs> cool. So some things for that we talked about. We're really leading with our butt. And so instead of just stepping like that, one way to make this look really gushy is to really like lead from oh, from, yeah, from our butt and just really sink into the floor there. And then you can lift up for that contrast and sink back down and really take the entire time instead of going one, two, really see if you can move through honey and slow everything down. 
Um, and then we also talked about having some lag in our upper body. So when we're doing this, your hips might be going at one rate, and then your upper body is following behind at a slightly slower rate. Yep. Perfect. Um, but yeah, so those are the six moves we covered this week. Um, yeah, thanks, y'all. <laughs>